Welcome back to another video. We're asking a new spiral feed bin. Here's what's coming off today. Sheep. The only thing I like about sheep is when I see them going to the freezer or coming out of the oven. Right, right. <laughs> you know I'll be happy with Barma Stoker. Good. Come on, come on, the biggest thing that ever came up here like that. Well, what have you done, boys? To hell with you, Chuck. Why bring that sound so simple? So welcome back. So following on from my last video, we're heading back over here now to Spiro Feed in Mallow and the lads have most of our meal been made so we're going to go through everything and the lads are going to show us um, how they make all the meal bins here so stay tuned. So we're after arriving here now in Spiro Feed Limited. So here in Mallow. This one now Glenn is a scale model of a 24 ton bin and the material is the exact same as the, the, the life size bin. It's a real size one, yeah. It's a, the material we use are plastisol, plastisol sheets. This is a green one. It's a galvanized sheet with a plastic coating. So and this is literally a carbon copy, just a smaller version. A 1 to 12 scale. Genie, man. And we, we've, we've a full size one aside now in production. You'll have to see that as well. We'll, we'll show that to everyone there now. You know, this is the galvanized version of a bin, of an 8 ton bin. Okay. So she's scale 1 to 5. And this is the galvanized one. And it is one of the workers who made this here, is it? Just one of the lads here. He's interested in, he does a lot of our machine work and he's, uh, he's tasty, that kind of stuff. And he, uh, Gosh, the, he took a man. There's a few small farmers, they can nearly use this. <laughs> Feeding a few pet lambs. They, they get great attention. <laughs> fellas, you fellas with hens at home, come up looking for looking at these bins of shows. Yeah. Matt is the main man here, making the bin. Right. You have a few questions for me, yeah, you're yeah. saying? Just the filler, filler and exhaust, right? I put fillers on both sides of your door. Okay. When you tip it up, because I see your base plan there, right? Yeah. See, it's like two places it can go. It'll, it'll be at the back. Right. Or at the front. Right. By the door. Okay. So I presume by the front, by the door, he can walk in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lorry can back in. Two shoots, they'll go on here. Right. Right. And they'll be faced up to your door. Okay. Your two slides. Yeah. So that's the main reason why we want a twin separation is in January, February time, when we're feeding the oars pre lambing they'll be getting a separate nut, say, to the lambs when we're fattening. Yeah. So we live near a river, and like, there's all rats and everything. When we get the bags, tearing the bags and everything, you can't keep them top of them. And with birds as well, and sure you know, sheep break in. So with the feet, yep. with the twin divide here now, it is great to have the extra storage. And it's just easier when you're drawing bags. We can back the Jeep right up to here, open the double door, fill the Jeep, and it's a way cleaner job. Yep. But that's the intentions why we wanted to get, say, the twin the separate one department but um so with regards the bin itself what's you were saying earlier what's it made from and the, this this is the gray bin this is actually a tams approved bin as well right and yours is a split 12 ton bin so there's six tons in each chamber capacity okay yeah and the material in that bin it's a galvanized sheet with a plastisol coating yeah. on the outside it's a green plastic film yeah. and on the inside then is a painted finish okay so it's high corrosion rating right and very strong highly rated sheet yeah as as you saw in the previous clips there with my father, we, we have a bin, is it, was it, remember you said it was 17 year, nearly 17 years old now, yeah, I think? Yeah, it is, yeah. So like, it is absolutely perfect. The reason we want to get it is because to have, to get bigger loads for feed and to divide like so. One of the changes that were made now since your last bin, Glenn, is yeah. we have inspection hatches on both sides of this bin, obviously, okay. for both chambers. Yeah. And then there's bigger side glasses. So the side glasses up the top here, when you come in, you can oh, see those. Oh, brilliant. And then on the yeah. outside, which you'll see with this standing, there's uh, more side glasses up along to see what's happening. Yeah, they're actually great to have there on the inside as well, because like, sometimes when the feed comes down, it might be kind of half blocked above, and yeah. you, could be, you could open one day, it might have nothing, but you, you'll see it there, pure you'll, obvious. You'll see plenty, and you'll see it from the outside as well when you're walking past. Yeah. Things for people that, that are watching this now, what's the minimum? We do size come fi five ton to 50 ton. 50? Yeah, yeah. So oh this God. is a, a six ton bin that we're just starting now. Right. That are halfway as through it. So that's similar enough size. The one we have at home, aren't they? Yeah, the bin you have at home, Glenn, is a six ton sheeted bin to the ground yeah. with the door. So, this is a standard six ton bin. And this, this is a uh, 22 ton green, same as your own bin. Right. And it is for uh, there be an auger system going in. It's fitted for an auger system to fit on for a dairy man yeah. for the bottom of it. <coughs> and they'll be the same glasses as yours, as you can see there yeah. now. And your hat should be the same as them as well. Having the extra glass there is great. It's yeah. really telling you what, what's, what's yeah, left yeah. in the And the long glass, especially now, yeah. it, it gives you great vision yeah, yeah. on it. Like. This bin is going out uh, tomorrow to a, a dairy farmer in Waterford, and he's expanding, he's putting in a new parlour. Okay, okay, okay. And what, would you see like a lot of farmers going down the lines of getting bins 
over the last few years now? Like, you go to the ploughing match every year and... We do, we go to Tullamore, we go to the ploughing, we go to Mill Street, we go to Charleville. Okay. Absolutely, I suppose there's different reasons to get him. Like, this guy has no choice if he's in dairy, he wants to go into his parlour. But yeah. then from the, the, the animal welfare and hygiene point of view, you've got a lot of guys trying to get away from bags yeah. and bulk and they but want it, to use a bin. even the birds <coughs> and the rats alone, even for us, like, even like a neighbour there, he, he was feeding a load of birds were shitting all over the, the, the bags and nuts and one of his ki uh, cows died from whatever was in the, the bird pool like. Oh, yeah. So like, it's say sure the same as rat. My, my great grand uncle died from, is it, is it Wiz 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 is it? Yeah. rats? And he had a cut in his hand when he was digging mm. out the place so we wanted to get away from them and eh? Well the rats yeah. and the crows do a pile of yeah, referral yeah. business for us. Yeah. And for yeah, yeah, disease yeah. for cattle <laughs> and sheep too, the birds, the yeah. crows, they spread yeah. it anyway. Yeah. And like if they get used to going where the bags are, the rats and the birds, you can't, they can keep them no, up. No, like, no, 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 they're smart. You can't. They're smart. The bird size bins you have here as well. Well, so. say, you have a six ton there, and like, yeah, it's for a, bar a barrow system that a okay. fellow went to fill a barrow yeah. uh, and draw it into a shed to cattle or out in the field. Yeah. And they can put a tipsy bin which they will go in there yeah, as well, yeah, like, yeah. to it, like. The doors are nearly a better job, though, I suppose, going forward now. Would you see they're more popular? Very popular, in increasingly popular. Our double door is, uh, gives plenty of space. Yeah. The older bins, like yours, now is a single door, whereas the double door gives you plenty of access. It was my father's. It was my father went to a farm there. It was in Coulee in Bellevue. I'd say it was back around 15, whenever he, whenever he bought it. But he saw the surrounding it, and he thought it was a great job. Yeah. But since I put up videos there the last couple of years, people saw that you can put the surrounding doors, the shelter around it. Yeah. Yeah, people have Super job. Have gone for it, so. And for part time farmers, especially when they come yeah. home in the evening, they have cattle to feed, they can have bags and things, everything yeah. ready inside in the front. Yeah, them. even young lads, they can fill all the buckets and that's right. That's right, that's right. Very handy. But it's very handy going forward like yeah. that. That's yeah. an eight ton then. So this is an eight ton one. Yeah. Much the same as sort of a barrel system again or bagging off if you want it, huh? You, who's your biggest clientele? Will it be dairy farmers, pig farmers? It varies, I suppose. Like. Uh, the pig farmers are very busy this year. Lots of, lot of upgrade work yeah, going on. Yeah, the money is good for pigs. Pigs are going well, yeah. yeah. And they're, they can be spending it. So. They're great customers when, when things are going well like that. And they buy the big one, the big bins outside. They, they would, a lot of them would be up around 30 ton plus bins. Okay. Depending on the course size of the houses, but they'd be big bins. And But we're doing across the, the, the range. Like yeah. the, the sheep fella is very busy with bins at the moment, the smaller bins. And then the dairy yeah. farmers, like dairy had a big expansion a couple of years ago. Yeah. That's slowing down, but it's starting to but come back again. Your bins are TAMS approved? They are TAMS oh. approved, yeah, we're TAMS all approved the manufacturer. All the coloured bins are TAMS approved. Okay, that makes a big grey difference. Grey and, like yeah, grey and green. 60% grant, I think. 60% grant, yeah, for the young farmer and 60% for female farmers as well. Okay. So it's very worth, very much worthwhile no, going is, through it. It is, especially we've had ours, what is it, 15 or 16 years, and like it's still, test, it shows the test of time. They do last. And like, they're, they're made of good quality, like. And the vet was confirmed as well lately. That's all refundable now on the, the silo type bins that we oh, do. Oh, great. It, makes a, it all makes a difference. Absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. the last two years now have been tough, tough on farmers, like. Yeah. And, like, we, we all, we all want to get our share, like. And That's this, right. this year has been a very tough year for grass. Yeah. Why oh, is like, that? So a lot of fellas feeding way my, more. Like, my, for people above the in-laws there in Clannacilty, like, most people around there, maybe not the last week or two there, because the heat has picked up, but... Yeah. So the summer is nearly over and they're all feeding, feeding the cows. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, that's right. So like for a country that thrives in grass. Like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. No, no, it's a big turnaround. It's a big turnaround the last Definitely. Years, like. That's for the bins. I suppose fellows are thinking ahead too this winter and they're talking about maybe issues with feed and they're thinking more like yeah. supplementing it with, with, yeah. with rations and compound feed. So that's where the bins are getting busy as well. We have a cutting and punching machine inside here, Glenn, in this hall. Okay. And what happens is all our sheets are prepared, ready and stacked. When the lads are assembling bins, they come in, they pick off the list right. of what we have. So that's a sheet that's ready for the hopper of a bin. Okay. They're all cut to size. It's all cut inside here and put together in there. Everything is inside here, stocked up, ready yeah. to go. And then when the lads are making a bin, they get an order in the morning and they'll go in, they'll pick from the, the warehouse okay. and build the bin. This machine here that Christian runs, is a basher machine. It's a punching, cutting and nibbling machine. This takes a lot of the manual work out of our sheets. Okay. So this, this is, bar when, when did you get this, sorry? We got this machine about two years ago. And it's a big investment. Load. It has, it's, it's improved the accuracy of the sheets and it's reduced the amount of labour involved okay. in preparing the sheets and it's big, reduced damage to sheets. Big investment but well worthwhile. Absolutely, a great, big investment but worthwhile. And Christian runs this machine, all our drawings, all our bins are on drawings, CAD drawings. CAD, so it's all off CAD. All off CAD. You can see here, so when you're making a bin, it's all up here and the machine cuts everything to pinpoint accuracy. Exactly, and that means that when it's going together assembly afterwards, it's very straightforward, it's a bolting exercise at that point. Brilliant. Th this is our cutting and punching machine, Glyn. Yeah. 
and as we said, this was a big investment for us a couple of years ago, but it takes a lot of the manual nature out of preparing the sheets. Yeah. Christian yeah. runs the machine, Christian does all our design and drawing work. So all our bins are on CAD drawings. Yeah. They're loaded onto our computer system and that is connected to this machine, it's CNC machine. So Christian is going to show us now how he sets up a sheet and we'll run the machine to show you preparing yeah, uh, so a panel. It's all pinpoint accuracy, so like you were saying. Oh yeah, it's low tolerance and it makes the assembly of the bins afterwards very straightforward. Yeah. There's, there's no blaming someone after. He cut this or he cut that. So the machine is fairly accurate. The, the, the machine, will, uh, there's no hiding behind the machine when it does it. <laughs> there's no hiding. That's all right, that's all right. So Christian, you might show us, sure. we'll, we'll see your drawings on the screen, it's connected to the machine and then we'll transfer a sheet across. Christian you knows loading the drawing. He's left to bring the sheet up in the machine. The machine will clamp the sheet and the machine, the sheet moves around underneath the punching and cutting kit. Yeah. So he puts it into position and basically then he selected the drawing from the CAD package. Yeah. And once he gets that going here now, the machine will take off and will cut. It looks like he's doing a hopper sheet or something. The wall panel, a wall panel sheet. In the past, that was a very manual process. It would have taken a lot of time. Yeah. Take a lot of time. Took a couple of lads handling a sheet and turning it around. Whereas now, this sheet will be done in a matter of seconds. Did it take you long to get used to this machine? Uh, not really, not no. really. Uh, we had a course. And, okay, um, of course. I'd say all together, like, you'll need about a year to get used to, like, all the settings and uh, to know how to... How to you know your eyes closed, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's, it's pretty easy to, to learn. The way it's puntering the, the, the steel is so easy, like. Oh, yeah, and there's no scratching or marking of the sheets no. or anything like that. Show yourself there if you're the winning drill. You would make sheet of the sheet. Oh, like. you would, you would, yeah. There was no burrs, it's very clean. Yeah. Everything's very clean. It's basically. Uh, you could not get rid of that. So we'll run ahead of the lads in production and we'll have our, our racking filled up with sheets for every part of the bin. Yeah. And when, they, when they're making a bin in the morning, they'll come in and they'll pick from the racks. Everything is there before them. Yeah. As you can see now, the machine basically, the, the second station of it, it has a, a rebel tool, it's called. There are seven different punches within the rebel tool. Okay. And they go from 16 mil uh, hole down to 4 mil square. Is, yeah, it's, it's a good machine. Would you get much trouble from the machine? No, very little. We, we, kind of, Christian looks after the maintenance of it, so yeah. it's well, it's well minded. That's only the side, that's not fair enough. That's just cutting away, squaring the sheet now, okay. so we have the square sheet was going together. But it's a German-made machine, so very reliable. Yeah. And you can see the position one then turns around 360, so okay. whatever cut you need, the machine is able to do it. Ah, oh, sure, Jesus. You have an awful easy job here, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to do a bit. <laughs> this is, Christian is the man who made the small model bins out the front. Yeah, we've seen them there while ago. Yeah, they're a lovely job. And you made them on, on this machine on as On the well. machine, yeah. So basically, um, there are two models. So if we spin out the road there, Tiger's gonna show us um, what, what size bin is it? We have a man out, uh, eating out the road, he's a 33 ton bin. Right. It's gone in about maybe a year and a half, two years now, and uh, he's a dairy farmer out in, outside in Buttevant. Right. Um, and he's, uh, he's a good example. Of this is well over double the size of, of the one I'm getting saw, so it'll be interesting to show people who have tillage or dairy or pig farmers at the bigger size bins. That's so right, we'll, yeah. we'll show you that up close now and we might even get a chat with him. Yeah, we'll head out to him. Glyn, this is a 33 ton bin into a dairy parlour. So yeah. this is connected up to the flexi augers. Our bin comes out of the workshop with the adapter at the bottom that'll suit all flexi auger systems. And the guys who fit that didn't just fit that. So this bin, as I said, is 33 ton. It's a green plastic solid sheet again, like we saw in the workshop, yeah. grant approved. So this is similar. It's just a single compartment. There's no double compartment. No, listen, that's right. Because he obviously he's only feeding his dairy cows. That's right. And it's obviously a good bit bigger 
and same principle pretty much. It is, yeah, a fine bin. And in the background there, there's a 10-ton galvanised bin. Okay. Already by, by Ian. So uh, wait, how old is that one? The one in the background there, I'd say, is about eight, eight years old, eight, nine right. years old. And the one here in front is, is in, in place less than a year. We're here in Isabella, Isabella here, the Bodevent. Bodevent, right. We're here with Ian here, the farm here now. A Kerry man as well, even though we're in Cork. So we've three Kerry men here. <laughs> but uh, you, you you bought this farm, was it how many years ago? 30 years now, last year. Uh, yeah. Well, you wouldn't want to be buying the, this farm today in today's market. I couldn't but afford it today. Yeah. Things must be good though back then when you, when you oh, were. We were working hard, like, right? Look at our heads, right? <laughs> You're, is it dairy farming? Dairy, no, 180 cows, yeah. That's and did, do you finish cattle? No, or? just to call cows mostly, yeah. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Add the nitrates, it's kill you, so look. Yeah, the dairy is tough now this year, they're all. They're well, no, you have to work it. harder, there's no easy bit of it at the moment. Yeah, because like. my, my in laws there, my wife's farm, they're, they're dairy, and it's been tough here, and farmers kind of. Especially with grass growing, we're refeeding now this year. Refeeding, we will. Sure, look, the bin is there. There's a reason yeah. we bought the bin yeah. because we're buying a lot of ration, like. Yeah. Right, so. well, and yeah. to, to fill it, it isn't cheap to fill it either, like. Well, the first fill was actually cheaper than buying the bin. <laughs> That's, that's 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 very bad. That's very bad to say, but was ration that, was so it, dear. It's too cheap at that ration, <laughs> ration, it must be. ration was so dear at the time that uh, the first fill was actually dearer than what we paid for the bin. And well, the bin wasn't cheap now, like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, wait, wait, how old is this bin, lads? This bin's just over a year, Ian. Is yeah, it? yeah, that's all. Yeah, and you year. replaced one that was there. And no, it's a tent one that was there. We're filling there like maybe every eight or ten days, depending on what level okay, you're at. Yeah. There. And obviously this year now you to be emptying fairly quick now to hide it. It will, but we'd probably get a month for five kgs at the moment now, so it's about twenty seven or eight ton of Co a month like. Yeah. Compared to other good years now, obviously you wouldn't be feeding this summer, it is a massive Well expense. there's ex an extra two kgs, but we're lucky enough our herd has milked it. Right. You know this year, but look, it has been a hard slog, like yeah, yeah a lot like of work on it. People are all kind of overstocked they're under serious pressure there with stuff feeding. They are, right? yeah, it's hard to grow grass, like three yeah. tonne of a deficit probably for the year in this area. We're very dry, like you know, like I mean, it has been dry, like mm -hmm. so. Yeah, you well, have well, to you have to put in the ration to make up the balance, mm -hmm. like it's yeah. cheaper soft. Right? Yeah, converted to dairy in uh, zero nine, we put in a ten ton bin that time, right? Right. Yeah. And was it the go back then, or was you, were you kind of well, we had sixty cows, like there was no other manager at that stage. Right. Like, there was a limited quotas were still there with dairy gold, so we couldn't. Uh, yeah, we couldn't drive out onto yeah. the coast as regards, so that was our that was our. And you've the automatic system here, obviously. Like, it is a super job when you get to bin like. It is, yeah, it you is. You can't yeah. look back on it, but it, it, there's probably still farmers probably still buying bags, even dairy farmers. Yeah, I, know, I suppose. I, I, and like the big thing about the bin is to the 33 ton bin, like so. Look, we could have four or five ton on the bottom of it and buy an Arctic load. So yeah, you go to uh, salesman and tell him you want an Arctic. Yeah. Oh, it's very convenient, like so that. You've been buying power, like you knock ten or twelve or fifteen euro ton off the, that's yeah, the thing, yeah. off the price, like so. They're only coming once, once in the month rather than three or four. Yeah, that's, that's part of the payback in the bin. That well. is the payback. That is like yeah. three years. We probably would pay for what yeah. you could buy a ration cheaper, like. Jeez, so. That's a good way. Look, you've never tell yeah. that. Even like when we buy bags. So if we buy whatever a couple of ton of bags there, compared to a bulk, you're saving whatever maybe thirty or forty euro. But yeah. it all adds up. It does, yeah. yeah. Do you know, at the end of the year, especially that volume. Yeah, especially over a couple of years as well. So, yeah. yeah. So you're saying we're buying the we're buying for nothing pretty much. So yeah, they're, yeah. they're still he financing over a couple of years. Well. They gave it to me for nothing on trial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three months trial and then you can pay full, the <laughs> yeah, full yeah, amount. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but your job here, we repl we moved out the old bin yeah. and we reconnect, disconnected and reconnected the the, the, the augers. Like, yeah. Oh, you do uh, that as well? Yeah, yeah. did a lovely job now, oh, just right. grind the tight to the shade and everything. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. the lads fitting were very good. Like, yeah, no, they're not the rest. They were uh, steady, they did a crane and they lifted off the lorry and put it into place. To perfection. Yeah, we'll, we'll be showing that in the next few clips now, the lads will bring down the bin and lifting away the... The old bin, but and you've plenty of room here in this area in, in for filling it yeah. and for standing the bin. I and apologize, filling it even everything. here now we can fill the bin and the milk lorry can come in like it's not yeah. too bad, like so they can yeah. plenty room. They kind of know, but so you're you're happy enough in Cork, and Cork, so you won't be moving back to Kerry again. I uh, sure if I could afford to stay there, I would like, but that's you know, I got got too cheeky, so they kicked me out a long time ago. <laughs> I should look, we we're trying to find our feet all the time, like. Cork won't know all Ireland this year in Kerry, so we... I'm not sure, look, Kerry, we're looking to get the one, I suppose. You know how many yeah. the girls had to bail us out, in fairness. That's true, the Kerry girls, yeah. At least, yeah. We, at least we won something, eh? Yeah. But no. That's all good, lads. So we said we'd show you the bin here. So obviously a lot of dairy farmers and pig farmers and sheep farmers across the board are getting yeah. the bins, like, so... That's if right. you want, If you want to get no more about the bins... Contact, where's the best place to contact you? If you office number 0222803 and we're based in Mallow and we service the whole country. And we put it, you serve, oh perfect. Yeah. So no place in Ireland is too far away? No, or no being too small. That's good. That's good.
The big day this morning, we're getting a new bin from Spyro Feed. This old bin here served us well. So this is an updated one, a double compartment, 12 ton bin. Teddy, is this a tight fit? Tight. How, how long are you working with Spire Fit? You went a long time? Just happened for three years, I don't know. years? Yeah. Still going strong, so? Going well. So you don't be long going? No. Jesus. Time flies. This is a tight fit. They, they never thought when we put up all these gates and stuff here that we, we'd, be, we'd be getting another one. Yeah. So they have to take down the first one inside, the old one, and put that aside, is it? That's it, yeah. drop it over. So you need a bit of room, and there's not a massive room there. Uh, he knows the main thing. That's the stuff. Yeah. Where are you at here, Petty? We just got the four bolts, you know. Yeah. And in the middle, they need to have the cover above. Yeah. And drop a stick down through the middle of it. And lift it up and lift the whole thing away. up. And swap over. Put it over across the radio. Perfect. So yeah, that's why you need a good bit of room here. Oh, you want to be a school. I'm here now with the owners of Spyro Feed. Two, two well-known men. The first man here is some Castle Gregory. When did he farm the company and start this? Um, Spyro Feed was going since, uh, since 1970. But Tiger and I, we purchased it back uh, about three and a half years ago. And since then, we made a few changes. And um, I suppose what we're trying to do now is we're trying to develop the products and make them easier for the farmers and try to get more more product out there. You're expanding, sir? Yeah, yeah, we're expanding, but um, I suppose we're slowly expanding. Yeah. We had a few changes to make. We had to modernize the plant, change machinery, and move more into robotic machines. Spin the bit of money, sir? The bit we get, yeah, we yeah. try and, yeah. It's, been, yeah it's, it's the payback in the bin. We'd say, for example, all along people were using 10 ton bins, maybe six ton, eight ton, 10 ton bins. And then with the, the dairy guys, they needed more capacity, the cows went up, so they moved to 30 ton bins. So they get a full arctic load, one load from the feed mill delivered directly to the yards. And they're probably saving somewhere in the region of 30 euros a ton. Multiply that by 30 ton, you have 900 euros. So the payback is pretty quick yeah. when you take it from that point. So that's that's really the reason that's such a drive at the moment. Right, the bin has been risen up now. That's why we're taking this out of the way now to make room for the new bin. So Lynn is after chipping away all the bases. He did the right job there, Johnny poured the base into this yeah. to seal it up with water and vermin and everything else. That was a fine job. So we need to put the new bin out to slap down over that again and fill it out with concrete. Nice clean job. We put the concrete in there when the first bin was put in. To stop the water from going in. So there's no water and nothing can go into it. Good idea. So we'll seal it again. You have to around Killarney yourself. That's right, yeah. Uh, up around Tierna Bowl, small at the eastern side of Killarney. And anyway, we got involved with this business, we're holding on to stuff in this business. Three and a half years now, myself and Seamus own it, and uh, we're very happy with it. It was a long-standing business with great name and great customers, and we were happy to take it on and to drive it on again. That's all I know. Would he, do, would he be doing a big area here around the south of Ireland, all around Cork? We would, yeah, with great customers in Cork, Kerry, Clare, Limerick, yeah. all the Munster, and up around the country. Nationwide. 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 There, there's big farmers in Cork. Big East farmers, Park. yeah. Big, Big farmers, a big dairy mini. Are they going to the plowing this year? We will, we will, we, we go every year. Now. We'll have a big stand. Yeah. We'll have four bins up there. Gene will be going there as well. well hopefully so he'll he call. He'll, he'll meet him there. We'll see y'all, hopefully yeah. he'll call. But I'm too old now for going to places. I know. This is uh -huh. a great setup, this is a great show for us. We have fierce visitors and pile of customers in the past come up and plenty new customers, hopefully. Good. Well, it's it's a great the, job. It's in the same place this year, is it? Rathenisk and Leash, yeah. Right. We don't know yet exactly where we are, but we'll send it on once I, we have I, it to give you a call. Thanks, Lynn. They find, they find it very hard. They, they couldn't have it down here in Kerry, no, because the road, road never couldn't be good enough for that big crowd. No, 
And good plowing country up there Maybe too. Maybe the land isn't good enough either. Yeah, there's good land to carry too though. Oh, I suppose in the hard carry, but you want Places. a fair amount of land known for that. You understand then you at the plowing. We will, and we always kind of do better deals at the plowing, then there'll be a discount for the few days we're there, so anyone who calls, then to come on away in, and we'll do a good deal that time at the plowing. Super hey, we have a sheep farmers here, you know how much have those sheep? Do you have any about sheep? No, no sheep. The only thing I like about sheep is when I see them going to the freezer or coming out of the oven. Right, right. <laughs> and God. that's my knowledge. But you know, sheep. Maybe you like all the leather tonies, you'll be only going for lamb, not <laughs> all lamb they're going for now. Keep eating lamb. I'd buy it any day I could, I'd be a great supporter of the industry that way. But right. you can't get much different than lamb. No, no. They don't sell the other stuff anymore. No, so they they, long ago they used to be the two year old mutton and it was nice. Yeah. But the butchers that say no. No, the people who want to come in to say we're selling mutton, they're all too, too well off now, they have too much money. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. But they mutton would. was nice. I'd say too so. Too well all, whether they are or they couldn't yeah, be them. No, we wouldn't get that anymore anyway. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. So they're just lifting off here now? Yeah, they're say. lifting yeah. off this now here, like. That's right. This is a, this is a fairly heavy, heavy piece of equipment. We're nearly there now, they'll drop it down with, with, with the lifting gear, it's a great job, Michael. And what they'll do now is they'll just drop it here, Seamus will guide you down over, they'll stand it up and drop it in on top of the base here, bolt it down, and you can fill it away after that. Yeah, Very straightforward. We can feed men. Feed men. Give them as much as they need. As much as they need, and we'll put them into the freezer. <laughs> Never came to barn us too, huh? It must be, yeah. It must be, yeah. But um, basically, yeah, so he just has to swing it into position, turn it around to yeah. suit where you want the we door. We want the door here, keep, keep it away up, facing the east where there's no wind. Yeah, you want the keep door. Keep it away from the west. And you two, you have two compartments for two different feeds. Yes. And as you said, where they go, is that specially now because you don't want to be buying the feed? Oh, yeah. You're buying all the feed, is that well, right? I, I was buying them long enough. Just time for the other lad now to start buying. So, yeah. Oh. What way do you want the door facing, John? I want the door facing here in near the shed as well. Facing and the shed? Beware from the wind, all the wind here is from the west. Perfect. So we're avoiding the wind. Yeah, they are a long time since 1970, I see written up here. Yeah, moving around, oh, oh. I'd say you're good enough. Talk the other one again. Hold on now. Oh, no, no, no. It's too far into the wall, is it? Yeah, the side, the side that's the other one, look, inside. And the hopper. Right. You'd be on a half a ton. That's either side, like, they'd be... So, so when it gets low there, it's time to order more nuts. That's it, yeah. Right. We'll see coming out on the elbow. And there's more on the outside. How is that? On the outside in the second glass, we'll be talking about a ton and a half to two ton. Right. And the one above within, we've got about five, or, four, or three or four. Right. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Both sides in. Are you happy outside with oh, it? Well, that's very good, yeah. yeah. That's no, no, two bar, bar, doors bar. and everything there. Should we go in there bar. and live there ourselves? You could go If we'll be people out inside in the house, yeah. we'll go in here. Hold them there. They're nearly finished. Yeah. Job done now, John. Just fill the holes, bolt it down. And make sure everything is okay. So, listen, best of luck with it. We hope everything will be okay. And we'll all be happy in Barn and Stuka. Good, good. So, Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow the biggest thing that ever came up here like that. Well, on behalf of all of us in Spiral, we thank you very much for the business. Right. Much appreciated. Right, as I said here, founded in 1970, but he, he took it over. Yeah, we took it over about three years ago. So, the last of these kicks back though after all the years. Oh, loads of fees and... Oh, you can argue now over which side on who? Right, oh, right. Yeah. Who buys what? <laughs> I did it at So, yeah, that's it. Job done. Good. Very well done, lad. Thanks very much. We're getting this field up tomorrow morning. We're we'll watching the feed of Limerick. So, we're gone for every county. So, you live a great day in three weeks' time, so in Kinmere? We will. We will. We should that's have it, yeah. That's the job. I'll tell you, we go to the factory. I think a lot of them. Oh, yes. Roaches, lorries here now, and we're filling up the bin. This is the first time the bin, this new bin, the idea has been put in set. So, yeah, you can see the meal bin filling up there. So, they're onto the second side there. Fills fairly quick, only took about 15 minutes there. Uh, so, so, the meal bin is nearly full there now. My father couldn't wait, he had to go out feeding straight away. So I have a couple of groups of lambs fed there now, la. So there's one group there, another group up behind, and we're feeding more, more here. So 
with the mule lambs over there, going, they're going to a different pasture now. So he's fierce excited to start using them in. <laughs> oh, sir. He couldn't control himself, he had to go feeding straight away. Keep the buckets up here. The bin is up and it's full up of nuts now. And now is the time to fatten up the lambs. So that's it for another video. Thanks for much for watching and we'll see you for the next one. What have you done boys? The hell with you, YouTube. <coughs>